David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another review. I get asked a lot about pen storage, and today I have for you a new storage option from Galen Leather, and that is their Magnum Opus 12 pen case. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the case, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it, as well as show you which pens fit in it, as well as which pens do not. Uh, thanks go out to Galen Leather for providing this case for review. Galen is based out of Turkey and has a wide variety of some very cool looking and well-made products. I've reviewed a number of them in the past and used several of their items on a daily basis. Uh, coming up in the near future, I will have a review of their extra large medic bag and possibly some other surprises. Their offerings are really fun to check out. The Magnum Opus pen case comes in two different sizes, one which holds six pens and another which holds 12. They are made from leather and each are offered in seven different colors and varying textures. There is the black, undyed, and the rest are in what is called crazy horse leather, which is something I'll talk about here in a bit. There is brown, forest green, honey ochre, navy blue, and smoky. When it comes to the six pen case, you can see here that it's offered in the same seven varieties. Uh, Crazy Horse Leather is a high quality leather which uses the entire cowhide skin. Uh, it's often used in saddles. A natural wax is applied to the surface creating a water resistant leather which is durable and buttery soft to the touch. It arrives in this box. From day one, uh, Galen has always had some very cool looking packaging. And in order to see which version I have to show you here, please join me over at camera two. So here is the box and the case that we have inside is the Crazy Horse Brown. Let me go ahead and just get this out here. I also included a nice little postcard with a personal note that was a nice touch. And here is the case. Um, I really like this Crazy Horse Brown color. Um, the leather is very soft and has lots of character. Um, this is one of those items that uh, will get little marks and scratches. And uh, in my opinion, it's only gonna add to the character of this piece. Um, to begin with, uh, here is a close up of the leather. I will say that these pictures make the material look more of a tannish brown rather than the reddish brown that I really think it is. But you can see the stitching is nice with high quality thread. Uh, the seams on the inside are even worn nicely. Um, let's take a look at the outside of this case. Um, you can see, again, that that stitching is very nice. Um, I also like this double seam look around the edge all the way around. Um, you know, uh, on the back here, it is stamped with the Galen leather logo. It's just a nice looking piece. The flap is magnetized. Um, something that I really care for here is that you can't see any of the markings on the leather as to the location of the magnets. I've seen on other leather products that you can see little bumps or indentations where the magnets are, but you uh, can't see anything here or even feel it. Um, there's no bumps to speak of. Um, if I use another magnet, then there, I can find it right there, but you don't see it there otherwise. Now, who knows, over time, they might become more visible, but for now, I like that they are invisible. Um, so, inside, there is this cutout that gives you a, a really good access to the pens. Um, something I really like is this tray easily slides out for easy access. Um, the slots here are very sturdy um, and the flocking is done well. I've seen on some other flocked products that little fibers of the material get all over your pens, but so far I haven't found that to be the case with this tray. Okay, let's take a look at what pens fit in here and which ones will not in this case. To begin with, I have a pen from Visconti, which is the Visconti Ripple. Um, I have found that the clips do better when they are on the side. When they are facing straight up, then they do exceed the, uh, the outer portion of the material there. So you need to have the clips to the side. Next up, we have another rather large pen, which is the Sailor King of Pen in Ebonite. And you can see that that fits in there well. This is a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in the primary manipulation. 
And then another new pen that uh, I'll be reviewing in the near future, which is from Gravitas, and this is their entry pen, and that fits in there nicely. Another larger pen, this is the Wall Eversharp Decoband, which is very thick and very large, and that fits in here well. Now in regard to a couple of pens that really don't fit in here, the Namiki Emperor uh, fits in here as far as the girth goes, but you can see the length uh, is exceeding where it needs to go. But there's not many cases out there that will hold this pen. The same could be said for the Dany Trio Genkai. It's a very large and thick pen. Uh, there's not many cases that are going to hold this thing. But in regard to a long pen that this case does accommodate, this is the uh, Franklin Christoph Model 66, which is one of the longer pens in my collection. Uh, and it just barely fits in there, but it does fit in here nicely. Here is a Mont Blanc 149. Uh, and then next to it, we will have a Pilot Custom Arushi, which again is a very large pen and just barely fits in there. We have a Conid Bulk Filler King Size. And then in regard to a very small pen, this is a Shone Design Pocket 6. So even though this is a small pen, I feel that it fits in there and you can still get it out without much issue. Uh, and then two other pens, which will be reviewed here in the very near future. The first is from Leonardo, and this is their brand new Memento Magico, uh, which is um, a bit of a different pen for uh, Leonardo uh, in the fact that the section is different than their, um, than their uh, Memento Zero and Memento Zero Grande, uh, and that also it has a piston and a, a nice ink window in here. So I'm looking forward to giving you a closer look at that. And then finally, we have a brand new pen from Bennu, which is their talisman model. And this is the Dragon's Blood. And I think that looks very interesting. And it fits in here nicely as well. So that's a nice set of pens. Now, this is not an official contest. Uh, there are no uh, prizes involved, but um, I'd like to see if someone can name the 12 pens in the case that I showed in the intro to this review. It was a completely different set of pens than this set here. There was no real intention to choose a difficulty to identify the pens or anything. I just grabbed a few pens at random that I thought would look nice. Um, most have been reviewed, but there are some that have not been reviewed. Um, there might be at least one shown in other reviews on multiple occasions. Um, see how many you can name and let me know in the comments how successful you were. Both sizes of the Magnum Opus cases are available on the Galen Leather website. Um, I took a quick look around some of the other sites which offer Galen items and didn't see these cases, so they might only currently be available through Galen directly. The 12 pen case retails for $159 and the 6 pen sells for $109. Now, decent leather goods are typically come at a premium price. In regard to the pricing of these items, um, I feel that the 159 is reasonable for this larger case, um, but the price on the smaller case feels a little bit high to me personally. But if you are looking for some high quality leather pen case options, then these are well worth checking out. Thanks again, go out to Galen Leather for providing this case for review. Um, I will provide a link to their site in the notes below. Until next time, Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.